All right, thanks for staying with us now. Buying gifts for our loved ones and getting ready for Christmas is part of the festive holiday chair. And yet millions of households experience holiday shopping and preparation as a source of stress rather than enjoyment. For them, the Christmas spirit is more about pressure and anxiety instead of calm, peace, and peace of mind. Now, this year, financial pressures can be harder to manage than usual as a result of the deteriorating economy, insecurity, the fuel scarcity, and fact, the list goes on. However, how prepared are the are you rather for the festive season, and how will you be managing the pressure amidst um, economic hardship? Now, that's the question we're asking ourselves tonight. Now, please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 4663 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa One for the hashtag Wayshow. I mean, you go to a supermarket now. So today, I was shopping at the mall, uh, supermarket nearby. And apparently, the price tag mm -hmm. on the, you know, the display mm -hmm. tag that you mm -hmm. see, the display price right before you pick the item. Mm -hmm. So the lady picked the item and then took it to the till. When she got to the till, it was a thousand something on the on the display. Think, yeah. On the till, it was two thousand, almost three thousand something, right? Almost three thousand. She then goes to meet the manager that Oga, when I am shopping, there's a reason I am looking at the prices. Mm. It guides my purchase. Mm. That it is so unfair that you put a price there and I go to the till, I'm meeting a different okay. price. So I wasn't thinking in my head, is it that supermarkets now are beginning to also use that as a tactic? Because maybe sometimes you might not really check. Okay. So me too, when they were now tilling my own, <laughs> I was not <laughs> looking, <laughs> I was <laughs> looking <laughs> at it. Oh my God, God, because I picked a shrimp, shrimp, 15,000 oh, I said, wait, 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 wait. what did I buy? Is it cow? I said, please, how much is that? What is 15,000 She said shrimp. shrimp. One sachet of shrimp. I told Amolala, I said, please, go and like check inside that freezer. <laughs> I'm sure there has to be a cheaper one. Small, so yeah. she got something that was around 3,000, 3,002 or something. So basically, I'm saying that, right? The, the pressure is real. That, like, is getting, getting worse. Wet, <laughs> right? So we must be really smart because, again, I don't want us to fall into depression mm -hmm. because you cannot. And, and I mean, I reached yeah. out to Chinela. I was saying, Chinela is my new saving uh, knight and shiny ammo. My eyelash now. Before I've, I saved 50% of what I used to pay okay. for my lashes. I, I saw some lovely shoes she had. I said, please, where did you go? Me, that I've not been to Balogo in years. <laughs> I, I entered Balogo market. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying that we, we just, at, as much as possible, right? You still want to look good. You still want to mm -hmm. whatever. But there are cheaper ways to achieve all of those things, mm -hmm. right? Maybe we should start to explore that. But let me hear your thoughts. How are you guys managing the pressure? <laughs> I'll come to Uti. <laughs> Go ahead, Chinela. So something happened today, right? Myself and Dami went to the market. So before that, we were even going to buy toiletries and whatnot. And then we picked, um, what's it called? Deodorant. Hmm. And we asked someone, and then the guy said, oh, it's 1,007. And then I was like, wait, we used to buy this thing 900 naira. How did we get to 1,700 for one bottle of... And I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't even want to think about it again. Let's just keep it moving. So you see, it's affecting... Every, every single, single thing, thing. Yeah. every from food to you know your personal every items thing. to clothes to I can't imagine what's happening. People that are trying to shop. Mm. Well, thank God for Black Friday. I heard there were a lot of slash um, prices that were slashed, but even at that, it's been it's it's been crazy. And like I always say, live within your means. There there is there are several ways to actually look beautiful. You know, smell nice and all of that. Within a budget, I'm 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 a fan of <laughs> budgets. You know, live within a budget. It's okay to you know splurge and whatnot, whatnot, whatnot. But I always say that you will always find nice things cheaper. For cheaper, absolutely. Yeah. You have taught me well. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear you. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think for me and what I've noticed recently is um, anxiety has become the order of the day. Mm. So before I go to a store or even go to the market to buy anything, it's like, oh God, what would the price be mm. this time around? I know, I know last month, I, I kid you not, in terms of groceries and everything that I spent for feeding was about 100,000. Yeah. Wow. I've not cooked yet, though. Mm. 
I just bought like raw, <laughs> raw ingredients. And I had to tell myself last month, I'm not eating out for any reason. Nothing will make me eat out. I will cook. It's what I have in my fridge that I will eat until I've finished it to the last bit and my fridge is empty before I step out. And I, I stuck with it because I realized that amount was very ridiculous. I can't be spending that amount of money. And then another thing that I started to do is sometimes you know you want to impulse buy, you mm. want to buy something, you want to buy this. And I have to ask myself and sit with myself. I give myself three days before I actually <laughs> purchase an buy. item. <laughs> and I will have to ask myself, why <laughs> really? Do I really need it? Mm. <laughs> like today, I went out, I was like, who? This fragrance looks nice. <laughs> And trust me, I have a lot of fragrance. And that's because I'm a fraghead. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I smelled it, it smelled it. I said, it smells nice. <laughs> I said, Jennifer, do you really need, need it? it? And I realized, I don't need it. Mm. I stopped buying clothes as much as I used to. Mm. Because one, I don't go out a lot. And I mean, I work from home most of the time. Mm. So I'm like, I, I'm not going to be buying outfits that I would not wear. wear. Yeah. And I always try to buy sets. I buy things that I know I can pair with other things. Yeah. Now, I look into my cupboard and my wardrobe. I say, okay. yes, this pink shirt it's will go with, with this blue. <laughs> <laughs> this pink shirt will go with green. <laughs> and I mix it and I mix, I style it in different ways. Mm -hmm. And also, it, it also comes um, down to food and every other thing that you need. Now, sometimes you want to splurge. With the way the economy is set up, I don't think you pe a lot of people have the the liberty or the grace to actually just splurge, except you feel like, okay, well, I can, I, I mean, you only live once. If that's, for me, I don't like to do you only live once. I like to make sure that I manage my funds as much as possible. Christmas is coming. I have to buy things for my parents. Mm -hmm. I have to send money home. As I'm going home, I'm thinking, oh, bag of rice. The price has increased. What do we do? And we are cooking. We're not just cooking for my immediate family. We're going to cook yes, for a lot of people. Cool. Yeah. My mom likes to invite people to the house mm -hmm. for Christmas. So I have to think about that you think about protein okay are we buying goat's meat are we buying chicken chicken is not cheap at all hmm. Just, this is, like, a lot of things are very expensive these days <laughs> so you know the getaway we are having this yeah. I, I was supposed to i hired someone just uh, so the plan was to get people to just cook and bring on my way they were calling price yeah. for head. <laughs> and i told my friend my friend that has a, a chef that comes like if she wants to do christmas <laughs> food mm. i told the lady by the time i ordered the turkey the chicken and everything when, they, when, the I, when I went to the house just now, I saw it. Is that what? Is that all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let me hear Uti. I said, is that all? Oh my God, Uti. How are you managing you know, the prayer? Well, the, the pressure has always been there. You just have to be creative. Mm. Um, we've never had a situation where, I mean, where we're in double digit inflation. We have all sorts of situations, both man-made and natural cause disasters or causes that are affecting our reality, not to mention the things that are happening around the world. I remember when the Ukraine war first started and we were chatting with the group, right? And I can't remember which of the ladies, I think it was Elsie who was, was saying that it's going to affect us. Yes, that, yeah, it was Elsie. Ah, you, just, you just wait. You just wait in mm. this global globalized world that we're in it will eventually catch up to us and we're really seeing the effects of it now so it, it, you know it sounds bad to say that we've always lived with this it's just the degree hmm. to which we're seeing it Absolutely. increase and in a very short space of time hmm. so i mean anybody that knows me knows how much i love open air markets love going to lagos island and all those places and i'm a bit meticulous in my record keeping right so i have what i call a market book and i've been keeping that book since uh, 2015 uh, thereabouts i've been keeping that book it's scary to see how prices have gone up in that time so when i ask now how much gary you know we said they say in the paint of gary how much the paint of gary is now and I look at that book and I remember buying it for 600 naira. It sounds ridiculous, mm. right? So when I look at the total amount I used to spend back then, I would go to the market with 70,000 and I would buy everything I needed to buy from meat down to dry Bag goods, fresh, fresh everything. vegetables, everything. And I'll come home sometimes mm. with some change. 
Now that seventy thousand doesn't even eh? it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> serve me in one stop, like one place where I buy things. You know, come to talk of the whole day I spend in the market. So it's 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 um scary to imagine how people are coping, right? How people are still eating, things have gotten smaller, so the price stays the same. The packets, the quantity inside the packets have gotten smaller. Mm. Like now it's just creativity. So when you were talking about the shrimp, right? When you were you called the amount of the shrimp, I laughed because I tell people that I buy shrimp once a year. Now I know the seasons. I can tell you when things are in season. I've always followed it, but now it's even more meticulous, right? Where I only buy shrimp in rainy season, like in the height of rainy season, mm. end of July, August. I will literally, like at that point in time, it's almost like a third of the price of what you would buy normally. Hmm. And I just buy and I stock up and I know that, okay, I know my situation is a bit unique. Can I, I come to your power, freezer? But... <laughs> <laughs> the amount of people that are trying to get to that freezer, man, it's bad luck. <laughs> but, but so that's, that's the where the creativity comes in, hmm. where you try to buy things in season. If you're able to find people to share with, to buy in bulk so that it's cheaper and then you sh you know you share down to the regular quantities going to i mean going to the market in december for me say no no if yeah. you cannot do it in the last week of november or the very first mm. you know <clears throat> weekend in december even by then it's late but just trying to buy things when they're in season because really and truly it's not easy folks and it's across everything i think that's what's scary it's across everything and it's everywhere. Hmm. You took the story yesterday of the robberies in the UK, right? Yes. yes. And yes. I literally, I think I've shared this picture that my friend sent to me of butter. So me, I'm looking forward to like, ah, you know, and they sent me a picture of butter, that a tub of butter was £7.25. And not only was it that expensive, it had an anti-theft device around it. You know, the way they... they <laughs> The butter was tagged. So it's not even just a Nigerian problem. But I mean, it's crazy to think about. It really is. The world has gone a it's bit not. A bit I mean, I'll thank you for waiting for reminding me because I was going to say that yesterday when I took that story, because mm -hmm. every time people just hear things and they think it's unique to Nigeria. In London, yeah, two yeah. of our celebrities, Toke yeah. Makiwa and Ada, Dam Dam Ad, yeah, you know, they, I mean, Dami, they yeah. have been robbed with their bags, everything. So, it's not a it's not it's a not Nigerian, Nigerian thing. thing. This is a global pressure. Yeah. yeah. And that's why really Uti, thank you for that tip. So maybe what I'll just do now, target August <laughs> next year. <laughs> no, it's true, but the challenge now. I am lucky and fortunate. Yeah. My house, I have an inverter that powers my freezers okay. twenty four hours and all of that. What about the people that do not even have preservatives? You understand? Because now it's not even enough you to buy. Mm -hmm. It's not enough for you to stock up. If you didn't stock up, like I was gonna buy I like this Titus fish a lot, mm -hmm. but you can't buy that thing and store uh, it no. because it Being, if it, if it stays in your freezer for too long, yeah, and, it now yeah. it's now it loses the its mm -hmm. form. Mm -hmm. So Uti, how do you even how do we even start? Because again, it's only it's only very few things that you can actually stock up like that. Maybe your chicken, mm -hmm. your beef. You know, there are some things you really cannot stock up and just keep there. I mean, I, and again I, with the fluctuating power. Yeah, go ahead. I honestly feel like. Um, in a time like this, you have to let go of some things. Hmm. Do you understand? If you can't afford it, you have to let it go. Hmm. And then, I mean, we're talking about managing pressure. A lot of people need to find ways to manage pressure. Because now it's like, especially when you have a lot of people that are dependent on you, you still need to find a way to uh, manage their expectations, okay. look out for yourself, and still have reserve. Mm. Because guess what? Every time we get into December, you start hearing, oh, remember um, January mm. is two months or it's three months. And nothing is real. Because people get into this festive mood and they just go forget, haywire. Yeah. They forget that it's just a month. Mm -hmm. It's just another day. It's just weeks. It's, there's, the only special thing is it's just a special celebration. But you can't kill yourself. It's still the same rice, chicken, clothes. My sister cannot if you kill can't, myself. See, if you can't afford to buy new clothes, manage the ones that you have. Yeah. Look for ways to style them. Oh, if you just can't go have, with me. We are black. We're black. We're no, black. black. It, it, it's We're not black. black. <laughs> it's not black is for economics. You, you wear black, you wear blazer. Everything. Wear this one. Everything. Mix it. 
you are good to go. If last year you were able to afford goat's meat, buy fish. Mm. No See, bad. guess what? Everybody will be all right. Mm. Okay. If your wife, your husband, your uncle, auntie are complaining, they will be all right. If they don't want to eat it, let them know it. <laughs> mm. All you know is that you have provided what you, you can, can afford, provide. Yeah. Do not let people pressure you into doing things that you can't afford mm. or into making you feel some type of way because you're living first of all the economy is hard, hard. look at the financial situation of the country mm -hmm. a lot of people are suffering people are still earning the same amount they were earning two years ago and things have gotten so expensive so at the end of the day even people tell you oh invest now people can't even invest you can't even save as much as you can so the best that you can do is to manage your resources wisely mm -hmm. let go of things that you can no more afford let it go doesn't make you less of a human being it just means that you're trying to live within your no means. means just Absolutely. live within it avoid pressure anybody that wants to stress you this is time to get them to shift <laughs> <laughs> on that note let us take a break when we come back from the break we will continue this conversation and take your messages please tell us how you are dealing with this prayer you know how you how you're managing the pressure stay uh, stay with us we'll be right back all right thanks for staying with us now if you just tuned in we're discussing festive season and we're asking how do we manage pressure amidst economic hardship now remember you can join the conversation send us an sms or whatsapp to 81 you can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa one with the hashtag Way Show. Um, Uti, I, I wanted to come to you because I like what um, Jennifer just said before we went on a break about helping other people to manage their expectations, right? Um, so, <clears throat> my God, you as okay, you know what? How do we how do we help people to manage their expectations? Because it's one thing for you to understand, like for me now automatically my system can shut down if i don't have money to do anything mm. so if it's food maybe like fancy restaurant i'm craving my system can literally just shut down from anything that will make me to spend money <laughs> i can afford to just like blank it off completely and mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like it's existing mm. but the people around me might not be able to do that so if we say we really want to help manage other people's expectations how do we begin to start that what's the elu so you waited until it was my turn to give me jam <laughs> <That's> question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the very first thing for me is that we have a very strong entitlement culture. Mm. People feel that um, you owe them something. Mm. They don't really put that in context of your circumstances don't matter. Um, and some rightfully... I would say rightfully so, but let me use the the phrase black tax. So when Jennifer was talking, talked about having to send money to her family, all of these things are built into our culture. Then there are all the regular people that, okay, so we're coming to December. If you're like me, my budgeting includes how much money is going to, to different people mm. that I know that will be expecting money um, at this time of year. But then, at some point, if my budget is unable to carry that, mm. I'm going to have to have a tough conversation with someone to say, look, I really want to be able to give you as I've always given, but, but it's not possible, mm. you know, in this situation. Mm -hmm. That is one way to go. Some people will still try to kill themselves to give what they have been given because they need to pr protect a certain image. Mm. That's dangerous, right? We almost, I don't think that there's anybody that will say they don't know how difficult it is. We are at the point where even the uber rich are feeling it. So everybody is affected. So when it comes to managing expectations for me, it's about honest conversations. I can't give what I don't have, but I know people that do to their own detriment because they're more worried about the image. But in my own case, I'm very happy to give, but I can only give what I can, can afford. afford. Because you still have to keep on living, you still have to keep on ticking. 
Um, so that really, for me, is the way in terms of managing people's expectations. You just have to be able to tell people that, look, this is where I find myself. Whatever you're still able to do, go ahead and do, even if it's not as much as you could do before. But if you find yourself in a place where you are not able to manage your budget, manage your mental health, manage your physical well-being, and just say, I cannot do it. I because cannot come and go and kill myself. Everybody. You get what I mean? It's tough for everybody. Because if we are talking about it like this, mm. imagine the people who are earning 50000 the people who are earning 30000 the people who are earning 80000 Absolutely. I don't even want to begin hmm. to think how they're coping because every single thing is affected. Absolutely. Food, everything is affected. It's just crazy. I mean, somebody was complaining the other day about how fast the data on her phone was running. It's like everything just seems to have, you know, risen to the next level. Hmm. And we are all just trying to find the right yeast to rise right along with it. So, mm, honesty is the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, I mean, shopping is here. Whether we like it or not, you still need to buy a few things. So, what are the creative ways to help? I mean, Uti has talked about um, sharing, like yeah. calling a pool. Because I remember that there was a time when my kids were still uh, a lot younger. There was a time where my friends would call me that, oh, because that time, you know, famous Amos <laughs> and <laughs> cereal. You know, like you would just yeah. be spending so, money, mm -hmm. so much money on cereal and all of that. Um, I, so um, we, we then got someone to go to, I think what... I don't know if it's Balogun now. The place, Okiari, or where, yeah. hey, where they do the bulk yeah. buying, the buying cartons, and yeah. we share. Um, <laughs> that period. One, and I had one funny nanny like that. <laughs> I don't know how that nanny did it. Rats multiplied in my house. Ooh. And guess what happened? You see all those sachets of milk? They will go to the new one, poke, poke a hole, poke, go to the new oh one, poke a hole. I threw it. So I think that one just gave me, never again am I buying anything in bulk. But I mean, that bulk buy still does help, right? It yeah. does. So, so I mean, if, if, if you were to counsel, so what, what would be an ideal thing to do if you say you want to bulk buy? Should we be buying it like um, um, now or should we be buying it maybe after? The season, because this is the season is already upon us. Like Uti rightly said, no, you shouldn't actually be. There's certain things you shouldn't be shopping for in December, mm. right? Uh, okay, so well, well, you can't. You might not be able to preserve food as much, but things like oil, mm. you can actually keep oil, right? You can keep rice, you can keep um, flour, you can keep um, maybe things like biscuits and cereal. You might not be able to preserve as much as oil and all of those things, but then as much as possible, the things that you know that you can keep and that can stand time for maybe let's say another six weeks or eight weeks mm. you should actually buy them to keep because i've noticed that guess what so i went to the salon today and then the hairdresser after making my hair she then gave me the bill and i was like wait what happened she said ah, attachment is now two thousand naira. Mm. i was like wait <laughs> why and she said guess what before by next next week we might even get to two five uh. two weeks ago I made my hair and attachment was 1,600. And in two weeks, we've gotten to 2,000. And that's what we were going to get to 2,000. So if I had known, maybe in September or October, I would have bought maybe like One four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that, okay, I might have to make my hair. I can start selling then... attachment just in... <laughs> because the season is here. <laughs> so those kind of things, mm. you can actually, you know, buy them to keep. Because we know these things have, it has always been like that anyway. Mm. In December, prices of things tend to rise and then by january you see that it's dropping so you can actually you should bulk buying is so, so are we saying that the people that have missed the window of shopping mm. should not bother to shop at all or mm. how how do they now manage themselves no they can still they can still shop i my own advice would be buy what you need mm. okay and then also um coming together with your friends to actually buy in bulk because i know last month um when i was in abuja my friend um sent this lady to go to the market there's this market the core orange market things are so cheap there mm. so i was like oh buy me one thousand naira worth of um lemon and when that lemon came it was bags, lot, bags, bags, mm. bags. and it was those yellow ones that they sell in shop right are you serious? i was too shocked mm. i was like huh so because of that, we're like, okay, let's place the bill. Let's mm. ask other people if they want as well. And then just 
mm. spread it around. At the end of the day, the amount that we thought we would have spent on groceries or those items or food ingredients wasn't as much as as um, as it was. Um, my friend recently posted on Instagram that she went to mile 12 mm. and she spent only, I think, 17,000 naira mm. on things. So I think, so she was like, oh, who is interested? So basically what I think she's about to do is ask people, what do you want? What do you want onions? she probably people, buy like a yeah, bag and then she will share. split it's it. Too. So basically it's cheaper. So instead of me buying, what, like, five big onions for 2,000, 1,000 naira. naira. She's probably giving me about 10, 10 pieces for the, for the same amount mm. or even cheaper because she's getting it from a market that is cheaper the than sauce. that. Yeah. Mm. But at the end of the day, I'm going to buy what I need. I'm not going to buy what a very big bag of onions. Mm. Onions gets bad. Mm. Plantain gets bad. Even if you buy sweet potato, sweet potato gets bad. Course, Yam gets bad. Yeah, all these things. Vegetables get bad. Even your vegetables, when you store them in the fridge, it also it gets bad. bad except well, you're going yeah. to freeze it. Mm -hmm. So things like that, you might not necessarily have to buy in work. You might buy them when you actually need it. Mm. But then there are other things, like she mentioned, that you, you can buy in bulk. But I'll also, like, advise people to come together, like maybe your neighbors. Mm -hmm. Ask them, oh, I want to send somebody to the market. Oh, I want to go to market. Let's mm. contribute so, and then buy these things. So, talking about fuel crisis, right? Um, of course, now I hear that there is the pool services for these ride hailing companies. Company, they have yeah. those pool services yeah. where three, four people can. People. Mm -hmm. but, but it's almost like a ta cab, the way the yeah, taxis the were coupling. running. So, that is already helping. Do you think that going moving into a friend's house would save you more money? So, for instance, now, the way you pull, do a pool car, everybody... Yeah. Go, go in one car instead of everybody driving their own cars. What if we all came together and said, this season, let's live together. Maybe if I was spending 20K by myself before, mm -hmm. we now split that 20K into like four people, everybody bring for 5K. Mm -hmm. Would that not help? That would help. <laughs> but but uh, how the modalities be? <laughs> but, but. It depends on, it, so it depends on your relationship. relationship. Yes. It's heavily dependent on relationship. Mm -hmm. But would you do that with someone that, yeah. Yes. My geez, yes mm. of course. I would. <laughs> so if I wasn't going to my parents' house for Christmas, I mean, I have friends in Lagos who their parents live far away. Some of them, their parents live abroad and they are, they are the only ones here. Um, if I was the only one as well, we will come together, we will cook, we will eat, mm. we will be merry and be happy. Mm. It's cheaper. Honestly, it's cheaper. So if you have a good relationship, it helps because you're not going to fight over you didn't bring salt mm. or this. You are, this, you are eating this. five pieces. So of you it. just divide it. Okay, you're very good in cooking fried rice. Cook fried rice. You can make a goosey soup. You make a goosey soup. Or for breakfast, you make this. Mm. Oh, you're very good in grilling chicken or cooking chicken or even boiling or seasoning chicken. Mm. Why not do this? Because even in my house at home, we do that. When it's time for celebration, everybody pick what you are sure that you good at. Mm. So they know that, oh, Jennifer can make uh, fried rice and party jollof. That's what you would do. I would say, I, I, I cannot do two. <laughs> Give me one. And then somebody would decide, okay, I'm going to make pepper soup. My mom is chairman for soup, so nobody touches soup. Mm. My mother will make the soup. The boys pounded yam. Oh, yeah, you pound yam. So it's like division of, of labor. labor. Everybody yeah. comes together. So instead of just being yeah, by yourself, instead of just being so by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But did you agree? Would you do that if you had the um, the chance to? Because you guys are actually used to those kind of things, especially living, li abroad. haven't lived abroad. Uti, are you there? Oh, did we lose Uti? I'm here. <laughs> 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 oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. No, but would you, you I, would you take up that option? Which option? That's what I'm saying. I like if, if for instance, a few friends of yours we come together. Yeah, and have a few friends come together. Yeah, live in the that's same the house. Norm in, that's the norm in my life. Oh. It's the norm. It's a norm in your life, right? <laughs> but some people are not. Some people don't see don't that as it. saving. Do, does it really save costs? If, for instance, instead of staying by yourself, everybody shuts down their house and you pull, move together into one apartment and, you know, split all the bills, would, do people, would people take up those options? I don't, well, so I think we're coming to that point because shared housing is more of a normal thing. It wasn't a thing before, mm. but I think more and more we're getting to that. So for me, that's the norm, but then that's the norm outside of Nigeria. I say, Nigeria, you see one person living in a four-bedroom, five-bedroom house, all the rooms are empty, it's just them. So for me, it's the norm. But it only makes sense, right? Because 
Today, power is getting more expensive. When you put on a gen, whether you put on all the lights or not, the same amount of diesel or petrol is going to power the gen, right? Mm -hmm. So what if there are more people sharing the cost? So mm -hmm. I think a lot of people today, it's, we're just now coming around to ways of being more um, efficient in how we spend our money. Mm -hmm. But of course, if you're going to do things like that, you have to find the right people. people. Sharing yeah, houses yeah. is a very oh, sensitive ah, yes. matter. Let me give this example. I remember growing up as a child, when we first moved to Lagos, we lived in this normal face me, I slap you kind of um, situation. But then, you know, it was like a big compound with a very wide quadrangle. Mm -hmm. And then we had uh, people from different tribes. We had Yoruba, Igbo, we had um, Akwaibom, we had um, Ghana and Togo. And there was something I noticed um, between the Ghana and Togo family. When it's towards Christmas, if they don't travel to um, Accra, yeah, yeah, Olume, they come together and then they cook in one big pot. Mm. Once they finish cooking, they divide the food. The Togo woman, sometimes they even just sit together, eat. <laughs> eat. Then the remnant, they divide it in coolers. They go to their separate houses. Mm. So I mean, for people who have uh, who have like big houses, your friends can afford to come. But then not everyone has um, that kind of living situation. Mm -hmm. There are people who live in like what one bedroom apartment. Apartment. You have your neighbors, mm. so you can always still do that. Come together, cook, share the food, go back to your mm -hmm. separate mm. houses. Mm. Yeah, good. Let's take some comments. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Alright, so I have a comment here that said, um, Good evening ladies, compliment of the season, I've missed your show. The economic hardship hasn't reduced as we all thought. I called for a painter last month, the <laughs> bill was outrageous. I asked my brother if he can paint. <laughs> I'm a painter. <laughs> he's been coming since last month. Anytime he's off duty, and we've been doing the painting together. I will do the last bit tomorrow. We need to manage what we have this season, knowing that January is a long month. Mm. We'll do what we can. I'm not even thinking of clothes. I advise close friends to leave a day at a time to avoid health issues. Have fully adjusted and helping my family to know it's a face that we need to be in control of. Thanks, ladies. This is from BC. Oh, thank, thank you, you BC. BC. We missed you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead. Okay, good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Hashtag ways. Festive season managing pressure admits economic hardship. We should always plan our shopping. Perishable goods should not be bought and stored. It should be used immediately. Let us cut our clothes according to our material. When shopping in a mall, let's be very careful because they can be very smart with their prices. Let us not get enough. Let us get enough funds so that we don't get embarrassed. Mm. I'm the happiest person today and excited. My dear beautiful sister Jennifer Nicholas is in the house. <laughs> I have missed her a lot. <laughs> Still looking beautiful and lovely. You are welcome back. My name is Daniel. Thank, oh, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> we missed you too. And we we miss we'll you. We miss you some more. <laughs> <laughs> My OT, I mean, let's have our final words. If you had anything to say to anybody right now, my own is that when you go to a supermarket, check the price. <laughs> and guess what they now did too? So I bought something, two pieces of something. Yeah. I saw on the display that it was three yeah. pieces. I said, but this is only two. Yeah. So you really must scrutinize. Don't be ashamed. Of course. Mm -hmm. ah, money. I stood it's there for, uh, uh, for <laughs> some minutes. Yeah. I was Looking. checking the bill one mm -hmm. by one. Mm -hmm. So what is this item again? What did yeah. what, what is this? What's, what's so costing please this? um check your bills right. Check it. Um, it's it's not a thing of a what's it called. It, it, there's no shame in checking your bills. Make sure you double check because some of these um uh, supermarket attendants they can also be smart. Yeah. So you need to outsmart them. You know, check the bills. If the thing is not working, tell them I'm sorry I cannot afford it. You, you drop it off. I mean, there's no shame in it. Instead of putting yourself under no. undue pressure, what are you gonna say? <laughs> so I mean, the last thing I think I'll say is just be a savvy shopper. I don't know that, um, particularly for those that shop in supermarkets, that people shop around. Uh, one thing that me I do is when I go shopping, I'm phone in hand. Thank God that today you can buy almost anything on Jumia and Conga. So when I go out, I go and check prices. Like I just check on different online stores. I go to different different supermarkets. It's a bit more work, but when you're trying to save money, you have to do the work, right? Yeah. So sometimes you see a price. The days when we could just go to the supermarket, like you said, and just put things in your cart, and whatever price they tell you, you pay. 
These days, when you pick up a few things, they tell you the prices. You're taking it back. Your first reaction is, what did I buy? <laughs> so, uh, you know, every time I say that to a, a, a um, supermarket attendant, you know, it's the usual ha ha ha, funny laugh. But the truth of it is, that's how we all feel. Like I've only picked up a few items. Why is my bill fifteen thousand, twenty thousand? Yeah. But it's now shopping around. So we all, thankfully, supermarkets are, you know, almost on every other street these days. So it won't take too much to shop around, particularly for the things that you know you buy quite frequently, mm, yeah. to know where you can get the best price. And awesome. I still say to open air markets, they are your best friends. I would say they don't like the chaos. Don't, don't, don't say that, that too. Uti, don't say that. I went to Balogun. Hmm. I saw one lovely dress. <laughs> I pointed at the dress and I asked the lady, I said, how much is this dress? She said, 60,000 naira. <laughs> No, I looked at it. That's why. It's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Uti. <laughs> what I said, I said, is it sixteen? Th she said sixty thousand. I said, that the best price. I said fifty-five thousand. I said, thank you very much. <laughs> I was sh like literally shocked that how can you put that same price right. in a store yeah, like market. that? Ah. Well, what is not all the food market you go to? Dollar wherever you go. <laughs> I mean, 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 Remember that January is the longest month of the year. Absolutely. Uh, so for me, I would say one way to manage pressure is to put your foot down and say no. Hmm. Learn the word no. Unnecessary expenses, no. Is it your wife? No. Your husband? No. no. Your child? No. <laughs> your mother, your father? No. no. Everybody? No. no. <laughs> okay. No to you too. <laughs> Why are you coming over for dirty December? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. We've had a fantastic conversation. Thank you, Uti. Thank you, um, Nello. And thank you, Jenny, baby. Yeah. All right, so before we go, and show you follow us across all the social media handles. You can interact with us further. Drop a comment and more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote here, it is again, there is no dignity quite so impressive and no independence quite so important as living within your means. It's so clear. Please, please, please let us live within our means. We'll see you guys in the new year, hopefully, by the grace of Merry God. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you.